this video that I made explores some serious subject matter, so it is could be very disturbing to some people, so you've been warned. So, here we go with a second segment from my book, The Devil and Ice. Part 2. Jamie sat in his cell, handcuffed and restrained. He was not allowed to touch or look at cameras, only at the person who was interviewing him, a journalist, a young journalist. She was young, gifted with dark brown hair and bright blue eyes. She was dressed in a cardigan sweater with a paper, pen, and a tape recorder in her hands. Jamie Hawkins? She asked him. Yeah, he said. So, you ready for this? What's there to be ready for? We're just going to talk. She set the tape recorder down, took the microphone from out of her suitcase, plugged it in, and aimed it at Jamie's face. It was a small tape recorder. You could see the tape as it rotated and recorded every bit of word. The, just so you know, there are four tapes in case this interview continues to go on and on. And we are going to ask you a series of questions from your childhood and why you decided to believe in Satanism. You could ask me that all day long. I'll just give you the same answers. Maybe, maybe not. It all depends. She pushed record. A few minutes later, Jamie still did not crack, but this young journalist, whose name was Ramona Simpson, was determined to figure out what made Jamie Hawkins, the 25-year-old serial killer, believe in Satanism and murder 16 people. Some have doubted your stories of childhood. How are we supposed to believe that that's true? You could ask my older brother, my cousin, my sister, my sister-in-law, my brother, my brother-in-law. I have two gays in my family. I've got a brother and a sister. Well, I guess you could say my sister's a lesbian. Do you love them? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Sounds strange to hate a sibling, don't it? Some siblings do hate their siblings. I don't. What did you want people to think of as they died or when they saw you? I wanted them to see my anger. No, more than anger. My beliefs. The devil? Yes. Show them that he was real. Now, the last thing they ever saw was a monster attacking them. I didn't just leave. I'd stay. I'd watch the pain. Do you know how incorrect and wrong you sound now? We all do. Even good people. The whole point of this part was the interview, the complete realization, the, the reveal of Jamie Hawkins' backstory. What happened in his childhood, what was going on, what taboo subjects interested him and what didn't interest him, how he was treated, his tragic life story. And I can't really spoil all of this, you know, being the writer and all, but I figured maybe it's time that I give a sneak peek to some of you guys. Yes, I know that my channel's usually upbeat and talks about how I overcame stuff, but this time it's time for me to express some of the stuff that I write. And I intend to write a lot of dark-themed books. My books are usually tragedies, heartbreaking romances, and pretty, pretty gruesome taboo stories. And they usually have characters that become destroyed by their desires or decisions. It pretty much shows the dark side of choices, the consequences that lead up. I like to write books that include the consequences and the aftermath of the bad choices that these people make. And the consequences that Alice made in this story was getting involved with a man that she shouldn't have. Not her boyfriend, but Jamie Hawkins. Now as for the book, that's all I'm going to tell you. I'm going to write this, and once I finished it, I will tell you what it's about completely. Well, how about let's put it this way. In my next video, I'll tell you all about what this book is about. See you soon, guys. Mr. Blues here for you.